Master Gardeners. I'm out on the trail this morning and I've been seeing a lot of these pine trees that have broken in all the wind and the heavy rains and things. And this one's a fascinating one because did you grow up with knotty pine walls in your house? Back in the 60s, that was a real popular siding inside the house. My dad was a builder and we had tons of knotty pine in our house. Well, this is the tree from which knotty pine comes. This is the white pine tree. It's our native Eastern white pine called Pinus strobus. And why it's fascinating to me at this time of the year is there's all kinds of juvenile cones all over the tree. Typically you can't find the juvenile cones because they're real high up in the tree. But when all these branches break down, you'll find the little baby pine cones. They take a couple seasons to develop. So they're already presenting here for next year's growth of, uh, of pine cones. So I just find it fascinating to find them. Remember when you touch these, they're covered with white sap and the sap will get on your fingers. You just use any kind of oil to rinse that off. But I want to cover one point that was so interesting to me when I was in college. I went to University of Maryland. Dr. Baker had us standing underneath of one of these large white pines on the campus. The prevailing westerly winds came across campus and on the east side of the white pine tree, all the pine cones were on that side of the tree and none of them were on the windy side. Tell me why. For 20 minutes, we stood, Woody Plant students. He was waiting for us to determine why are most of the pine cones on the, this particular east side and none were on the west side. Do you know why? Yeah, you're right. It's a wind pollinated plant. And because it's wind pollinated, the wind transfers that pollen over to the east side of the tree and the majority of the female cones get um, reproduce over on that side. So yeah, it makes two kinds of cones, boy cones, girl cones, and the boys throw that pollen in the air. If you live near a white pine, your car probably is covered with that yellow, greenish, dusty pollen mess. Cause I live near the park too, and there my truck and car are covered. So anyway, just fascinating, but this is an important tree in our history, not only for the knotty pine that might've been on your walls in the sixties, or back in the colonial days, they were collected because they have huge trunks and their trunks of the tree were used for masts for the ships. So therefore England, when they came to the United States or future America, they were interested in all of our white pines and the, their country would claim certain ones. They'd rope them off and say, these are for England. So as the years have gone by, even in modern days, they go seek out really large mature white pines for using for masts for for historic vessels. So fascinating history, but also back in the 60s, they gave these to us as students in class and they wanted everybody to go home and plant them. So here in this portion of the park, they were put in in the 60s. Their objective was to make this particular piece of the park. These were gonna be fairways, eventually in a uh, golf course is what their dream was. But let's take a closer look at this tree. Typically we think of this as a native, but let's, well, let's look first how to grow it how to identify it. This is an easy tree to identify for drive-by identification. Super easy. So we can see on here, let me show you these little cones. Mm, let's go to right here. Here they are. So adorable. Look at that little cone on there. See them all on here. So I want you to look for them too when you're out hiking in the parks. They're everywhere. So it's fascinating to see and they have the white sap all over them. Here are your cones. Here are your cones. Another fascinating thing about cones, if you want to make Christmas wreaths out of these cones, here's all you have to do. You just stick them in a jar of warm water. I did this about 15 minutes ago. And look, they close up. So do you know why they close up? Because when they want to shed their baby seeds, they don't want their seeds to fall right directly underneath of the tree. And how is this tree, how does it actually shed those seeds? The flaps, which are called bracts, on this particular pine cone as it's hanging. These bracts will open up. And if I bang this seed around, truth is this never happens when I want it to. If you bang it around, you tap it, the seeds will fall out. But here's what the seeds look like. Here they are, they're little winged seeds. See the little wings on them? You're probably familiar with the uh, maple trees. They make winged seeds. So these are winged seeds. So the objective of the tree is they don't want all their baby seeds to fall directly underneath of the tree because that would be too much competition for the mommy plant. So she wants her seeds to float. So they move as much as 200, 200, 300 feet from the tree. So we do eat pine seeds, but typically you're not eating white pine seeds when you're buying those at the store. Those are different species of pine trees. 
So is this tree native? Well, technically it is. I kind of just got this map for you to look at. It's native all up to the northern parts of Canada on all down. And you'll see here how it kind of follows the Appalachian Mountains. So it's native to the more cool and more moist areas. It's not typical, typically found on our coastal plain here in Maryland. It's more of a Western species. But if you want to get fancy about it, it is a native tree to the state of Maryland. And another interesting fact about it is, is it, it is ozone sensitive. So sometimes when they're planted next to tree, uh, trees are planted next to the roadsides, you'll find that there will be some damage on the needles. And that'll, that's worth looking up and finding out what ozone damage looks like on a white pine. So that's fascinating. All parts of the tree are edible. So during COVID, if you get really hungry, you can come out here and eat the needles. Uh, I would venture to say they probably have a lot of that white resin that you're gonna find all over this. I, I can't say I've ever eaten one. <laughs> Not sure I want to either, but anyway, they're very important for wildlife. We find so many different species of birds love to consume all the seeds and things. And we also know that the deer will eat them when they're young. So let's take a look at them from a distance. Here's a pretty, this is a big one. Obviously the trees, something happened to it when it was younger because it's got multiple leaders in it. They tend to be brittle, which is why they're, see how broken they are in here? They're busted and breaking and falling on the trails, they always have to clean them up. This is not a tree to plant real close to your house for that very reason, because they'll fall down easily. But a lovely um, five needled, I didn't tell you that, three, usually five needles in a bundle, and we'll look later at other pine trees with they're typically five needles. But look, here they are all in a distance. You can see the shape of them. When they're young juvenile plants, they tend to be pyramidal, which means Christmas tree shaped. And then as they age, they get a little wider at the top. You can kind of see some of these are a little heavy at the top. There's a multi-litered one, multi-litered one right there. So yeah, broad at the top. So not something typically for your homeowner and lawn, but you can keep them sheared and pruned and you can prune them down. If you prune them regularly, they'll grow three foot easily in a year because they're fast growers. But if you keep them pruned, you can use it for a screening or a hedge in your own yard. But a beautiful, beautiful kind of a blue green color needle. So. I think a fascinating tree. And if you see one on the trail right now while you're out hiking, I want you to get up close and look and see if you can find some of those cute little cones on it too, because it's fascinating to see. Okay, Master Gardeners, there's your facts on Naughty Pine, Eastern White Pine Tree.